Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let us learn how to create a REST API using IntelliJ IDE. I have always seen developers prefer to use IntelliJ because of its intelligence, either in terms of identifying the auto wiring or in terms of content assist. I have been using Spring Tool Suit only for many years together. The reason being it is open source. In case of IntelliJ, even if you are using a community edition, you get only for a 30 days trial period. Now, off late, I was supposed to do a training in spring using IntelliJ IDE. So that time, I explored with this IntelliJ IDE. I was really dumbstep with the features that this IntelliJ is having. I actually wanted to share that experience with you. So, in this video, let us see how to create a REST API using IntelliJ IDE. My dear guys, in IntelliJ, they have added one AI assistant called as Juni. With Juni, it is way too easy to develop a REST API from the scratch. We will discuss about that in the second part. That is, how to build a REST API and perform CRUD operation with the database. That can be done just by giving description to this Juni. Juni will automatically perform all the operations that is needed for developing a REST API. I don't want to touch that part now. In this video, let us see how to create a REST API using IntelliJ. Okay, one more problem that I have faced when I was working in IntelliJ. I have used IntelliJ years before, nearly 7 years before. So when you are working with IntelliJ, Every time when you create a project, it will be opened as one single project. But I want to create it as a workspace. As in, under one workspace, I want to see all my projects. I was just breaking my head years before. So during that time, I got an idea. As in, first I will create an empty module under which I will be creating all the other projects as sub-modules. So we are going to follow the same process here. If at all you want to create a REST API directly, of course you can do that. If you want to have a workspace just like Spring Tool Suit, which is having multiple projects in one single folder, if you want to do that process, you follow the steps that I am giving or you can start from where I am creating the REST API. I hope whatever I have told is clear. Now let us dive into the code. What is the first step? I need to download and install IntelliJ. Again, I am repeating, whatever I am having is a community edition. I have got 30 days trial period. This is the latest version. It is really super good. If you guys are starting to learn Spring now, it is better that you can use IntelliJ. IntelliJ shows what are the auto wire dependencies, what are the rest endpoints, and also it is showing a graph of how the dependencies are created. As in, Whenever I am explaining, I usually explain from A to B, B to C. Like from the client call the service, service calling the repository, repository calling the JDBC template and so on. But now you can see the graph. That is the pictorial representation directly in IntelliJ that is generated automatically. Okay. Now let us get started. The first step is we need to download and install IntelliJ. So let me go to that IntelliJ site. Download the exe file. This is a free 30 day trial. For me it is day 2. The moment I have started working with IntelliJ for a particular corporate, I felt very happy and dumbstruck with the new features that were introduced. I wanted to share the same with you. So please do try using IntelliJ for developing REST APIs or actually working with Spring. If you are having your corporate edition, it is way too good. You will be getting all the features. Now I have already downloaded it and installed IntelliJ. IntelliJ will be automatically installed in C drive program files. If you want, you can change the location and you can install it. That work is done for me. Now let me open IntelliJ. Guys, now I am in IntelliJ IDE. If you notice on your right hand side, you will be having something as AI Assistant. This AI Assistant will help you to create the complete application that is needed for you as in generate code from description if you provide the prompt us build a spring rest api for the domain model product implement the service layer 
integrate the application with the database and perform CRUD operation. Create the REST endpoints in the controller. If you provide this prompt, this AA assistant, in this case it is Juni, it will automatically generate the complete setup, the complete code that is needed for you. So as a developer you don't have to do anything, literally it will create the model classes, the service interface, implementation class, repository, it will write all the code to perform CRUD operation with the database, it will create all the REST endpoints in the controller classes and of course it will also run your application. Suppose say if you want to add data that also will be done by this Juni, together with that it also can perform integration testing. Now, in this case, in today's session, we will see how to develop a REST API in a hard-coded way. That is, we will do it step by step without using the AA assistant. In one other session, I will explain you how to use Juni to create the complete application from scratch. Okay. Now, when you are working with Spring Toolsuit or Eclipse, you know that first you need to create a workspace. What is a workspace? Workspace is a collection of all your projects, be it Java projects or Spring projects or microservices, whatever. But in case of IntelliJ, whenever you are creating a project, you can see only that particular project. Suppose if you want to see all the projects in one single part, that is not possible. You can open that particular folder, but you will not be able to run individual applications. So there is a workaround for this. I also want to create a workspace in IntelliJ. For that, first you need to create a empty project. The empty project will behave like a workspace. Inside that workspace, you can create all your Spring applications. We are going to do the same thing. First I will create an empty project. Inside that, I will create the Spring REST API. Let us get started. Go to File, New, Project. Select empty project. This is a workspace. Here I need to give a name. Please understand this is just a workspace. Let me give the workspace name as Spring Boot Demos. I need to create this as a repository. So this is a workspace which is going to have all my Spring applications. Select create git repository. Click create. This window. Now my empty workspace is ready. Okay. What next? Inside this, we will be creating all our Spring applications. Each one of them should be created as a module. So select your workspace, right click, new, module. This time, let me select the generator as Spring Boot. Automatically, you will get the Spring Initializer. Let me give the application name. Spring hyphen book app hyphen rest API. So this particular project will be created under Spring Boot Demos workspace. Language is Java, type is Maven, group ID is com.bookapp, the application name is book app hyphen rest API, the package name. Be very careful with the package name. Here it will include Spring book app rest API also. If you want you include it. Then whenever you are creating service repository packages, be very careful, you have to go inside this particular package or you have to use scan packages in Spring Boot application. So every time this is a mistake which you need to remember. So I will just go for com.bookapp, JDK version should be 21. We are working with Spring Boot version 3.4.5, Spring version is 6.2.x, so Java version here is 21. So remember that and select it. Packaging is jar, click next. We are creating a REST API, so we need the dependency as web. Search for web, select Spring Web, click create. It is providing some help also, let me close that. Now my module is ready. If you notice, this is in green color because it is auto automatically committed to Git. Now once you have done it, you need to commit to git repository, fine. Now let me open src, main, java, this is the main class which is annotated with that Spring Boot application. If you notice, there is a ball over here. 
if you keep the cursor on this it will show you spring diagrams and still more if you want to see the dependencies diagram if you click on this it will show bean dependencies diagram as of now i don't need it once we have created the service layer i want to know the flow that time let us see the diagram okay let me create the controller select com.book app right click new package dot controllers com dot book app dot controllers select controllers right click new class let me give the class name as book controller do you want to add the following file to git click add annotate the class with at rest controller now inside this let us add two rest endpoints let the first one be public list of string show books return arrays dot as list let me pass few books import list add the url pattern at get mapping slash books let me add one more method also a simple method to return a message public string like like if i give the tab automatically this method will be completed now let me have the method as show message return let me add a different message welcome to intellij and i need to add the url here slash message that's it these are the two methods now we need to run this application if you want to see the rest end points what are the rest end points it is way too easy you can click on this it will show the url these are the rest end points okay directly we can run it from here open the main class click on this run spring boot app now the application has started you can see it in the bottom the application is getting built it is running in port number 8080 okay i need to open it it is giving me an option to open from here let me click on it you can see the output here this is the http client so you are seeing it from here if you want to test it from postman you can open postman and test it or you can go to the browser and test it so the same thing for message also oh, we did message only first so the same thing for books also you can see the output over here now what if i want to test it from the browser let me copy the url let me test it over here that's it okay so how simple and easy it is to create a rest api using intellij now here let us see the diagrams bean dependencies diagram these are the two classes that we have got one is book app rest api application which is bootstrapping your application the other one is book controller now i want to see the proper dependencies by doing some auto wiring let us check it out so let me create the service layer select com dot book app let me create a new package dot service let me create the interface right click new java class here select interface i book service add so i am adding it to git or finally also you can do that now whatever methods i had in book controller let me add it over here show books and the second method is show message in book service we need to create the implementation class for this if you are doing it in spring tool suite you need to do right click create new java class now we can do it from here keep the cursor in book service more actions implement interface now the imp implementation classes book service impl and click okay and implement both the methods add the file to git okay now it is using the method list dot of now we need to write the logic first step is i need to annotate this class with at service now if you notice half of the work is done by intellij intellij as per the name it is truly intelligent 
Now I don't even have to remember half of the methods, half of the names. I really don't know how to answer in the interviews if most of the work is done by IntelliJ. Now let me go to book controller. I will copy this. Come back and add it over here. And return. Have a great day. Now this is the implementation class. Let me go back to the controller. In the controller, I will auto wire iBook service. iBook service, book service. It should be auto wired. Add at auto wired annotation. Private iBook service. Now instead of returning a hard coded value, book service dot show books. And here it is book service dot show message. Now let us see the diagram. The purpose of adding the service is to show you the dependencies diagram. Now let us see that. I will keep the cursor here. Beans dependencies diagram. Now you can see that. From book rest API application we have the controller book service IMPL which is created by the IOC container. These are the bean names. Book controller depends on book service IMPL. We have added at auto wait annotation. Suppose in this book service IMPL I missed to add at service. Now let us see what is happening. Service implementation itself is not seen over here. And again if I go into the book controller it is giving me an error. This will not happen in spring tool suit. Only when you are running an application you will get an exception saying that you have auto wired iBook service but I cannot find a bean with the name book service. But IntelliJ is way too smart. It is doing all the work to avoid the exceptions also because all the reflection classes relevant to spring is added so automatically it understands if you are adding at auto wire it has to go in search of a class that is annotated with either at service or at component or at repository okay see here could not auto wire no beans of book service type found now what we need to do we will go back here uncomment it okay let me relaunch the application. From here only I can relaunch. Okay, application has started successfully in port number 8080. Let me open the browser and message. Okay, now we have got the output for this. See, the idea for showing this particular application is I really wanted you guys to take the advantage of the features that are available in IntelliJ. Try using IntelliJ and do smart work as in you don't have to break your head about the exceptions that may occur because of the silly mistakes that we are making. Maybe I have not added a auto wired annotation or maybe my package structure is wrong. In all these scenarios we may get exceptions but that and all is taken care by IntelliJ even before you start running the application. I hope you enjoyed this video. In one other video let us see how to use the AI assistant to build a complete end-to-end -end REST API which is integrated with the database. Thank you.